David from the W.P. Carey School of Business at Arizona State University. This video is one in a series desi designed to help you understand how to use UML class diagrams as the foundation for producing relational databases. In this particular video, we're going to focus on how to implement associations between tables as relationships within an Access database environment. To refresh your memory, we've been working on developing a database for an emergency room that allows them to capture information about the operations performed in their operating rooms. For the video series, we focused on simply implementing the tables and the associations for the operation and doctor and the association between them. In order to understand how associations are implemented, there's two key elements. The first element is that you need to have foreign keys in your database to allow associations to be created between different tables. Specifically, as we've discussed, there's a rule that you take the key from the one and put it into the many. What that means is you look at the maximum multiplicities, you identify which table is associated with the maximum of one, and you add the key of that table as a foreign key into the associated table that has a many. In this case, Notice that the doctor is, is closest to the maximum multiplicity of 1. When we designed this UML diagram, we said that an operation has a maximum of one doctor associated with it. So we're going to take the key from the doctor table, the employee number, we're going to add it into the operation table, and in fact we added it in but we named it the doctor number. In order to implement an association, it, does, it isn't necessary to have the same attribute names, but it is necessary to have the same data types. So we've already been through this several times. I hope that it makes sense. And in fact, when we created our tables in the prior video, we did have the doctor number as an additional foreign key attribute in the operation table. What's new when we actually implement the associations is a technical concept called referential integrity. And what this means is that if we enforce refer referential integrity, the database management system, the database tool itself, in this case access, is going to make sure that there's valid data entered into any foreign key, which means that when you enter data into a foreign key, it has to link to a valid record in the other associated table. So what does that really mean? What it means is, in our case, when we enter in an operation, We've specified that the relationship between operation and doctor has a minimum multiplicity of one. We said that an operation must be associated with at least one doctor. And so that means that when I enter data into the doctor number field, I want to have the system double check and make sure that in the doctor table, there actually is a record with that same number. That's called enforcing referential integrity. And so what it, you need to enforce referential integrity anytime you have a minimum multiplicity of one for an association. So in this case, because the minimum is one, when we create the association, we are going to enforce referential integrity. Now what that means when you go in and enter data is that when you enter data into the operation table, when you specify a doctor number, there better already be a doctor in that doctor table with that matching doctor number. You'll see that in the next video. So let's shift and see how we create that association in Access. Now remember, we've already created two tables, the operation table and the doctor table. We see those on the left side of the screen, and we can see their design, in this case, in the table view, on the center portion of the screen. Well, now I'm going to create the relationships. And one thing that I've learned through experience is that in order to create the relationships, Access is going to need to have control of or to be able to change the design of our tables. It's not able to do that if they're, ab if they're open in this window. So the first thing I'm going to do is right click on the tab and I'm going to close all. You might get a message now asking if you'd like to save your table designs. Please click the yes. That means all the work that you've done will be saved those tables are still available. But now I'm going to implement the associations. Um, that's done in Access, they're called relationships. And so I need to look at my relationship view. That isn't available from the home view, but it is available from the database tools view. So click on that tab, and then click on relationships. 
The first time you bring up this relationships window, Access is going to ask you which tables you'd like to include and create new associations. Well, if you haven't done the added the operation in the doctor already, it's really simple to do. When you click on a table, you can just drag it and it will be added to your relationships view. Now I've got two tables and I want to create a link or an association between those two. That's really simple to do. I know from my design documentation that the employee number matches with the doctor number. So all that I need to do is click on one of the fields, it doesn't matter which, drag it and move my mouse on top of its corresponding field. When I unclick my mouse, the window is going to come up that shows, hey, you're asking me if employee number and doctor number are how these two fields are associated. And in fact, it is. Now, because we already discussed referential integrity, you understand that I need to click here to enforce referential integrity. That will make sure that Access checks every time a new record is entered into the operation table to make sure that there's a correct, uh, there's a valid record in the corresponding doctor table. When I click Create, the association is built in. It's a little bit different from looking at the UML diagram because in Access in the Relationship window, the line that represents the relationship goes from the specific fields that are being linked. So you can double check to make sure that do we have the right fields linked. It also just shows the maximum multiplicities. So there was a maximum of one and a maximum of many. And Access knows to create the one to many because when you did the association, you linked to a primary key. So there can only be one record of, for each doctor number. But there could be, because this is a foreign key, multiple records in the operation table associated with that doctor. That's all it takes to create the associations. You drag between the two related fields, then determine if you want to enforce referential integrity based on the multiplicities. In the next video, you'll see how to enter data into your database as you're creating it. Thanks for watching, and all comments and feedback are appreciated.